market day and we have to go to market. Oh, a market it, day at a uh, Yes, we couldn't. We couldn't go to market. Come and see women, pregnant women, and then young girls, including myself, carrying loot all the way from here to Nyakumasi, just mm. to go to Aisawa market. Is, is, it, it, is it small distance or is it very it, far? It's, it's about three miles journey. Jesus Christ. Three miles, carrying loot. And it's Hello, what's up, people? My name is Village Boy. Thank you so much for making it to Village Boy YouTube channel. If today happens to be your first time, do us the honor, subscribe and be part of us. Follow us on our social media or social media platforms like Facebook, X, Threads, Instagram. We are here to impact lives. We are here to transform our villages to good. And so you need to be part of this legacy. Today I have, uh, I wouldn't want to talk about him, you know, too much because he's going to be doing the introduction by himself. And you can't wait to see this man. He's so, so, so inspiring and knowledgeable. All right, so without much ado, let's invite him over to join us right here. Okay, so join us. All right, so good afternoon. Afternoon, my brother. Mm. It's a nice time having you here. Thank you very much. Okay, so if today, happen today happens to be your first time yeah. on my Village Boy YouTube channel, kindly introduce yourself. Yeah, yeah, viewers, I am Pastor David Ayete Gama. Okay. I pastor a church at Sikiswa, okay. which is God's Trumpet Ministry. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Amazing. I love that. I love that. What work do you do apart from uh, being yeah, a pastor? Yeah, yeah. Apart from being a pastor, I am a farmer as well. Wow. Yeah, Akube City is Give my village. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. that's that's so nice. Yeah. I, lo I love this. Mm. I love this. Uh, do you have any other thing to, I mean, add it to your introduction? Uh, yeah, no, not much. Apart from the farming and the pastorianship. Okay. I, I decided to enter into farming because I realized that mm. pastorianship, now the congregation, we are believing God for God's blessing. But the blessing is with us. The blessing is inside the land. Oh, so we you, have to, you, th you think so? Yeah. <laughs> God has put but, all the blessing into the ground. Amazing. So, so we have to harvest it. God and... You know, pe people actually don't believe the fact that, you know, you can make money being a farmer. You see, that is the <laughs> perception. Okay. It is a perception and we have to do away with that perception. Oh. This Farming is, is lucrative. It's a lucrative job. So you think uh, someone can be successful? No, 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 not successful. Very, very successful, <laughs> my brother. You know, why I'm saying all this is because some people see farmers as if like they are nobody. Meanwhile, no, everyone no, it, it is the type of farming we are doing mm. in the country. Okay. Yeah, if we enter into serious farming, farming is money. Everybody eat. And without food, you can't survive. Food is everything. Wow. So, and food is money. Exactly. Yes. I believe what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. <laughs> Thank you so much. This conversation is going to be interesting. Yeah. As you know, the beginning alone is giving you that kind of gist, right? So be with us till the end of this video. All right. So today we are going to be talking about Akuma and Suiti, the situation at hand. Okay. Um, let, first of all, let's begin with, you know, the road. What do you have to share um, with us? I've been following you. So mm. I decided to join this crusade oh. of Akuma Suiti. Uh, Akume Suiti is my village, mm. and I've decided to enter into the farming and till the land. Wow. Last Thursday and Friday, mm. it was pathetic at Akume Suiti. What, what actually happened? Um, it rained, and after the heavy downpour, market Friday is Aisawa market day, and we have to go to market. Oh, a market it, day at Aisawa? Uh, yes, we couldn't. We couldn't go to market. Come and see women, pregnant women, and then young girls, including myself, carrying loot all the way from here to Nyakumasi just mm. to go to Aisawa market. Is, is, it, it, is it small distance or is it very it, far? It's, it's about three miles journey. Jesus Christ. Three miles carrying loot. And it's not just any loot. What kind of loot do you people, like what we, kind of things we, you produce we, we, we produce a lot. You know, Akume Suiti mm. is the warehouse for Aisawa market. Mm. Food basket for Aisawa market. Mm. Without Akume Suiti, Aisawa market doesn't exist. I say that for Pe a fact. People will not believe what they are saying. They no! Think... <laughs> the DC can testify. The MP is aware of this. Without Akume Suiti mm. and its environment, Asisawa market doesn't exist. That is for a fact. For Upper Mania. We supply, we have five markets around us. We supply Agogo mm. market, Ohiaminchi market, Sekiswa market, uh, Agomenya market and also 
Almighty as, as, as our as market. Were. And all this market this when buyers come, they get food. But the problem is the road, the, the road, nature the, the nature so of terrible. our road. So terrible. As you can see, my galley is lying. I fry galley. Galley is lying. I could, galley could not go to market. Hey. So meaning that we have all these things in, in our villages and things are not able, like because of the road, you are not able to convey your... You know, sometimes, your, sometimes your the city cry for food because of the nature of our road to the villages to link the food to the cities. Because me, myself, I can even testify, some people reach out to me about the food stuffs, you know, if they can actually get them from my community. You know. just keep. And it's like, people are really interested, but when you tell them the, the distance and then the nature of the road, then they, in, sadly, they lost that kind of interest. I have I have friends from Accra, mm. pastor's friend who came. Okay. I lead them to some land and they are farming. But because of the nature of the road mm. pertaining to transport or food to the city to sell, now they are getting discouraged. All of them are going back. The... It's so sad. As you came, you just visited me in the yeah, farm yeah. and you saw the yam I, I am approaching. I, 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 Today, I, I wanted to approve the yam and send to Agumenya Market. But I don't know how because the weather is changing. Yeah. And I don't know how the weather will be. So now I am stuck. Whether to go ahead and approach yeah, or to stop. To stop. Because if I approach and the rain pour, it can't go to market. It will be rot it will get rotted. This is so sad. So sad. So sad to hear. So have you been to the district assembly? The DC um, is he aware? Or, yes, yes, they, they are aware. They, they are not aware. Me myself. But how many times have you people been, been I, there? I joined the chief with our assemblyman. Mm. May he so rest in peace. Oh, he has so passed sad. on. Uh -huh. We joined, we lodged a uh, a crusade, we went to the district chief executive, we mm -hmm. went to his office. You met him one on one? One on one with the chief, with the queen mother's delegation. We went there. I was part of the delegation. We went to him, put our petition before him. As politicians, they are language. We are always, it is in the pipeline. Pipeline. That it pipeline, is in the pipeline. That pipeline, we just don't know what, the, what the, kind the of pipeline day, the they day are that, that pipe cock will be open <laughs> so that the water come through. <laughs> So we have been to him several times, not okay. one, not two, not three, but always it is in the pipeline. So, so what, what, what was the assurance he gave to you people? You see, the assurance is always they will just be telling they are now doing uh, mobilization. Mm. They will, they are now always big English. English to confuse you. They will speak the English to confuse you. But let me ask this because. Uh, do you partake in the national decision making as in election doing elections? Oh, we that, have, do, you, do, you, do you vote here? We vote. How, yeah, how do we, the we, have, we, we have a police station here. Really? There's a police this Akuma City is not just a one village. It's a, a community of its own. Mm. It com it consists of four sub chiefs. We have the Baganya, mm. we have the Asti, we have the Uspanya comprised with Agbum, and we have the border. So it is not just one village or one house somewhere saying that it's a common suite. No, it's a community of it all. Some of my friends are like, you know, I'm alone here. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, the population, we are more than five, six hundred to thousand population. Mm. It's a population. Yeah, sure. when, when, when we say we want to estimate the population from six hundred to thousand, the community will reach. It's so sad that things are actually not working right here. Like, you know, talking about root and, uh, I mean, other stuff. We, we, ha we have just been neglected. It, it is, it, it, we have just been neglected. And it's very unfortunate. We are coming in as pastors. Mm. We have done what we could do as citizens. Visited all the needed authorities in the community, mm. including the MP. Honorable Bismarck. Mm. Tete Nyako. So he's also aware of the He's also aware of the situation of the Akume Suite. We are pleading with them. We are just pleading with them. They should come to our aid, especially this October. Mm. This October. Do you expect them next 2024 uh, elections um, time? The, or you, ex uh, you are expecting them now to come and uh, implement the, the The only thing I will say, mm. if they need us, as they have been doing always, okay. then they should come to our aid now. Okay. This is the time we need them. Any politician who is vowing for upper mania mm. seat, 
whether the one who is on it want to retain the seat or mm. there is any person okay. also coming, okay. incoming to on to stay on sitting. Mm. Then we are telling them we need them now. This is the time that we need their support. Exactly. They shouldn't come and speak their old song. Vote for us and we'll help you. Mm. Vote for us, we'll do for you. Okay. We have heard it and we are tired of those ways. We want to see their actions now. Okay. The DCE, we know Honorable Joti, he has been an MP before. Exactly. And he, I, we are hearing that he's also vowing to, come back, to, come, back to come back again. Okay. We are telling him, if you want to come back again, we need him now. Exactly. Honorable Bismarck, he is also contesting again. If you also want to continue, okay. we need him now. Okay. If not so, then the showdown <laughs> legacy will happen at Akuma CET. Huh. We are saying this with a more serious note. I'm a, a very serious concerned resident of Akuma CET here. And I, I can attest to the fact that the situation here is so terrible, so bad. So as he is saying, our leaders must listen to the cries of the people. Because without that, you know, in the next 2024 election, we don't expect you. Are you people going to vote? Um, you know, one thing, still... <laughs> one thing that the politicians have done, mm. they have structured the political system in such a way that even if you did not vote, they will have their free way. Because MP, if two people vote, we can have our MP. Mm. If three vote, we can have our MP. That is the system of the politics they have created. Okay. So if Akuma Suyus ET said they will not vote, mm. and let's say Asisawa alone vote, we can have MP in Upper Mania. So okay. me for the voting, we will vote. But the showdown, the <laughs> situation must be applied. <laughs> <laughs> if, if we are not seeing your action, you must get the showdown. Then somebody will also come. But, but, but uh, as seen, uh, currently we have two party system in Ghana. Mm -hmm. You know that th those those ones that are very predominant and like the MPP, NDC. Mm -hmm. Are you are you still people following these two parties? You or see, you you have different you know candidates that I, you think I, I, what, wait, I can am, actually. I am telling work. you that Ghana politics has been woven mm -hmm. in the way that either you belong to here or there. Mm -hmm. It has become like. A system of ethnicity. Okay. You are a Krubo. And you can't deny being a Krubo. Mm, exactly. Because when you look at the political telling, either you are on NDC side or on MPP side, any other party mm. has just become an order of the day. They just come and make the noise and they go back because they don't have the muscles to compete with them. Even as they are rising, then the big ones are breaking. Suppressing them. Yes. Breaking their bones, okay. their wings down. Mm. So we have no option than NDC and MPP. That is the only option we have in Ghana now. But me to me, the only thing we can do mm. is to let them know that we are also far awakened. Our mind has moved from the era where when it is election time, they will just come and just lure us okay. with some one or two tokens. Sometimes cutlass cry, they buy your vote. Cutlass, what is it? Is mm. they buy your vote after voting for them? They go next four years, they come again with cutlass. Mm. Okay, are you getting me? Mm. So, with this situation, we just want them to know that we have gotten to a stage where the electorate they have been awoken. That system will not work for them again. I, I love, I love that statement. And now let's uh, proceed with other, uh, you know, challenge here. Uh, uh, do you have a uh, network? Our uh, has a lot of challenges. A lot of challenges. We what? don't have clinic here. School, by God's grace, we have school, mm. but we don't have clinic here. We don't have electricity here, and we don't have network communication. Hey, so. How do you survive here? How do you, uh, you know, we are in darkness. <laughs> so, and the darkness is too deep to the extent that even we see there are some darkness you can take a step without even touch. Mm. But our darkness is too thick to the extent that 
we have been stuck. We are just standing at one place. This is so sad. My brother. Because surviving here without, in this 21st century, no electricity, portable water, health facility, road, and what, are, what again? And then telecommunication te network. Telecommunication network. You see, the <laughs> one, the pathetic aspect of Akuma Suite is our road is one way. The road starts from Nyakumasi, hmm. it hit the mountain. So it has ended. If this one is broke, there's no way. Moto cannot go. Hmm. Car cannot go. So even if a child is sick, if a, a woman want to, a hmm. woman is in labor, all these things. So we have to go to the system of local medication, which is also causing a lot of harm. Exactly. Because, because you don't know the, the contents yes. that those things, you know, actually, uh, I mean, uh, composed And of. sometimes we have no option than to fall on those local medications. Sometimes hmm. we, became, uh, we become our own doctors. Doctors. And that shouldn't be the case. Yes. So we are pleading to the government. And we are pleading mm. to the authorities that a need be that they should come to our aid. Any flood Trump is listening to us, mm. we are pleading, I'm pleading to the clergy. I am also a pastor. Sure. I know they contributed and supported the National Cathedral Affair. Okay. <laughs> the tight sum can come to Akume City. Exactly. We also need we need their help. Mm. Two or three, three churches can come together. And they will say, we are going to Akume Suiti. We are going to help Akume Suiti. And God will bless them. Exactly.